If you haven't been on Twitter as of late, then you might have not heard of the devastating news that has been released about the relationship with Amaranth and her husband. And basically behind the scenes, she's been dealing with a very abusive relationship with him. And she revealed this on a stream with a phone call with him. Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay, I can leave the- I, you know what? Actually, I don't- I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question I'm telling you and you're interrupting my fucking- uh, like telling you. Literally. Literally. What are you saying? You just told me you were going to kill dogs if I didn't do a 24-hour stream. Nope, did not say that. Now you're just fucking being a liar. I'm not I just- I said it! I said I'm going to tell you what I said in terms of the earlier. Are you saying you did not say that? I tried to tell you what I heard from you. And you're, then you call me a liar! Then you tell me what did you say? What are you even talking about? I you brought up the dogs out of nowhere! Exactly. So what, point. what point is there in proving? See? You're just proving my point right now. What? I'm yeah. asking you yes. to I don't even understand what you're saying to me. I know. That's my point. My point is, are you listening or not? If you're not, then get the fuck out. I'm literally listening, but you're not making any sense. As you can see, he is yelling at her for quote unquote not listening when she was, and he was just not making sense about what he was talking about. And another gut wrenching thing said by him is that he is going to kill her dogs if she doesn't get out of the house as soon as he tells her to. And Amaranth has told the stream about how he psychologically abuses her, and she talks about it in the next clip. The therapist even told him that it's a form of like psychological abuse, and that. And basically living in a fancy prison and then he was changed for a bit and then the hot tub meta arose and he was like oh this is an opportunity and then he turned into an asshole again when i agreed to commit to the grind because it was a good financial opportunity for us i've been wanting to tell people that well, let's just stream together just tell them that we're fucking married because it's like our relationship would be better if we just stream them it's a fighting all the time no, Mr. I don't, know. I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. So he was basically trying to make her state that she was single even though she was married to him. And hopefully she can get out this marriage before things could get any worse as they already are. And since he didn't want the news to come out about their marriage, he stayed off of the streams and even made her do the hot tub grind without him contributing at all. Amaranth also talks about how he was threatening to take $1 million and then burn the rest into crypto. I'll leave you with one million and I'm gonna take the rest because I worked harder than you. It's like, and if you don't agree, then I'm gonna burn it all in court. I'm gonna put it all in fucking crypto. There's always threats, always threats. All the fucking accounts are like two factored under his number and all the, he has all the, like the login information of things, you know? It's like the, keeps you there with the fear and the threats. And you fear that you're gonna do something to your animals. And then he's nice again and says that everything's gonna be okay. He just constantly keeps on threatening her and her pets because of the money. And he guilt trips her into stuff she doesn't want to do. And lastly, he threatens to harm her reputation and spend her money and then blame it on her and basically make her feel like shit for not immediately responding and not doing everything he says. Next time when I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand? Like, what plan are you talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't, I'm gonna tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi Fi. I don't care. You get the call now. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony, proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or th or the the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. Lag is terrible, stream is garbage. It's like, about to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to pull Missy. He's like a bird sanctuary he likes. And, then and now my thoughts on the situation. First off and most obvious, I feel really bad for her because she had to deal with this stuff for years on end the psychological abuse 
the, you know, threats and, you know, threatening to, like, do stuff to her dogs and to her and saying all this stuff about her. And it just, like, rips away at her and her mental health. And I really do commend her for staying this strong during all these tough years that she's had to deal with all of this. And all of this is her husband's fault, obviously. And I'm not just talking about the abuse. I'm just talking about everything. Everything meaning what she's had to deal with. Because on top of the years of abuse from her husband, she's been through because of her husband, she now has a sickly obsessive fan base that don't know boundaries and make sick comments about her, even going to the point of stalking her. And it's not like she can just leave because she is one, worried about what's going to happen to her two what's going to happen to her money because he has access to all her money and her bank accounts and three what's going to happen to her pets because of the threats he had made in the past in the end it's a very disappointing and devastating situation that she's been roped into and i really hope she eventually gets out of it as soon as possible of course and really that's all i have to say see ya